Hello, this is uh, Richard Cespedes, and I wanted to talk about the how snowflakes are formed in our uh, reality. One thing that I came to understand is that the snowflakes, the reason why there's infinitely different types of snowflakes is because the water driplets are affected by the quantum changes of temperature and just like how scientists are not able to pinpoint an electron the quantum changes fluctuate so much and so rapidly and so randomly seemingly randomly that they affect the quantum molecules of the water driplet changing them and the thing is, though, you have to understand is that uh, we're talking about fractals, fractal changes, fractal properties. These fractal properties occur and allow for the creation, manifestation of the different types of shapes of the snowflakes that occur in snow and winter. And a snowflake can only occur when it is at a certain lengthen with a certain size you ever noticed how there is no large like football size or palm size snowflakes well that's because the snowflake can only occur when there is a proper ratio of of a uh, um that, that that's connected to to the quantum level a proper ratio that's that's a balance of a certain um, distribution allowing for the water driplet to, to shed off. The water driplet sheds off a little bit of its mass, allowing it to shrink and become these shapes. The snowflakes become formed because of the changes of the quantum, the thermal quantum changes, the temperature changes, they're always fluctuating. And those quantum changes then affect the, 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 the shape and dimensions and the geometry of the flake itself. These are, um, what I'm trying to get at is that the, the, the flakes have to follow a certain ratio, a certain balance of a certain, only a certain type of mass of a droplet. The ratio of the mass of the droplet has to be, has to be, uh, there has to be a certain balance ratio of the, the mass of the droplet being a certain mass and, and for the, and for the geometry to take place and for the thermal quantum changes to affect the, the, the direct geometry of the flake itself because you have to understand that that space and time is interfused with every organic matter matter uh, matter that exists in in, in 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 our universe and snowflakes are a direct result of that the snowflakes there's infinitely different types of them because Every snowflake interacts with different types of thermal changes and thermal uh, thermal fluctuations. The f the what happens is is that when the water driplet sheds off a certain amount of mass, the quantum thermal changes affect this small amount of mass of the water driplet, allowing for uh, uh, an appropriate. Um, symmetry of fractal activation that gives the perfect um, shape again the perfect symmetry the symmetry is affected at a quantum level and the flakes can only be affected and only and the snowflakes can only be created at a certain when they're at a certain mass and the fractal and the fractal um, fractal activation the fractal manifestation of the symmetry 
of the snowflake can only occur when when it interacts at a certain at a certain degree with the with the quantum changes of the, of the thermal changes the thermal because you can't because everything that's made from and in our reality follows a fractal um like a uh, a fractal geometry a perfect symmetry everything that's small has a perfect symmetry but at the quantum level and what you're seeing from the snowflakes is that is that occurrence is that um is that that's the only way that you're able to see fractals in action or the or the result of fractals being manifested by the quantum by by the quantum changes the snowflakes are the result of the of the um of the reality that fractals do exist and that fractals can only exist and can only be manifested through a certain certain length and width in space and time in in our reality and uh, um i think that everything in life is interfused with this creation you know everything in life is 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 interfused with this creation and i think that the riemann hypothesis the prime numbers every number is is created um from nothing which is zero and then slowly it starts to build and build and build until it gets into like a um one over one million of an inch and then it starts to kind of uh the fractals can only be manifest can only be seen and can only occur at the quantum level and the snowflakes are the result of that truth of the truth of the fact that that everything at the smallest level can uh an organic piece of matter ma matter and earth whether it's a, uh whether it's like a feather or if it's a human being or anything like that can only occur at the smallest level and the reason why there's the, there's so many different there's so many different um different types of shapes of snowflakes is because the thermal changes affect the certain the certain amount of mass of the driplet which is very small and the fluctuations of the thermal changes in the quantum level always go up and down and because of these and these changes then determine the fractal um the fractal shapes uh and 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 and, and allow for different type of fractal um geometry for each specific snowflake and i think that the riemann hypothesis follows this law because at the quantum level everything is very random everything is very wild and everything's always flowing and fluctuating life is not still it's not static it's always flowing and moving and bending and going and and stopping also stopping but always but but not stopping too soon but not stopping too long it always goes and keeps on going and the, the the prime numbers are the result of of these quantum changes and i think that the the fractals are closely related fractal shapes are closely related to prime numbers snowflakes are closely related to prime numbers and the quantum fluctuations are closely related to prime numbers and like i said in my other video the result of of the snowflakes is because of the changes of the of the of the the quantum uh of the quantum um effect that's taking effect on those small driplets and it constantly there's always it's always going up and down you know it's always going always going up and up and down so the fractal so the 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 fractals take different shapes they're not always the same because there's always the, the quantum changes are always changing and occurring allowing for the wild driplets to take different fractal geometries and and for the fractals to manifest themselves and change the shape of the of the of the of the flake and each and different each different flake has a different fractal geometric sy symmetric property to it because 
because the water dripplet is being affected and being frozen into that shape because of the changes of the of the of of the quantum thermal changes at the smallest level in our reality and i think that prime numbers each prime number is like a it's like a it's like a it's like a, a snowflake being affected by that you know and uh that's just my thought my idea about it it's kind of random i just came up i was thinking about it yesterday but i think that that's how it all really comes down to and uh I'll probably have some math to show the proof of it, but everything in life follows this. And uh, thank you very much. This is Richard Cespedes. Thank you.